Hi, I'm Paul Wilson, creator of The Body Swing. Here's another tip to help you with your game. If you like this tip, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you'll be notified when I post new tips. In this tip, I'm talking about your bottom hand and how it always wants to look for a position of strength. So whether you're right-handed or left-handed, doesn't matter. Um, whichever is your bottom hand, that is the hand I'm talking about in this tip. So this bottom hand will always want to look for power. And I'm saying that because it feels good to have a position of strength or a feeling of strength in this hand. Well, if you get that position of strength or that feeling of strength, you will want to hit with your arms. So that's what we're trying to do in our golf swing. We are trying to stop hitting the golf ball with our hands and arms. So we want our hands on in a position that will allow the golf club to hinge and re-hinge. And we need our wrists nice and loose to do that. So if we hold on or back this bottom hand off, now we're in a position of strength where we can start to hit. So this tip is more about, you know, warning you about that and giving you the understanding that you will always want to look for power in that hand. I'm saying that because to this day, I still want power in that hand. And I am very aware of that and very conscious of making sure my hands are on in a perfect position before I take that golf club back. All right, so let's take a look at, down at my grip here. So here's what I'm getting at. So if I was doing my normal grip right here, you can see here's the top hand here. There's two knuckles. My thumb is slightly off center. Then I hold the club in my fingers like this, and then I wrap it on top. When I do that, I have this V right here, right on top of the grip. And then this line right here points up between my back ear and shoulder. All right, when I do that grip, I am literally holding onto the golf club in my fingers here. So if I do a swing like this, I can barely hold on to the golf club here. This feels very weak and powerless. Now imagine if I went like this and I backed my hand off to where the club is down here, now from right here, I can hit because I have a position of strength. So what we want to do is when we go to do our setup, we always want to be checking. And that's why I tell people, curl your fingers here. You see the grip is curved. So we're going to put the club in our fingers. Then we're going to wrap this hand on top. And what we want to check for is that this V is right on top like that. And that line matches this line parallel between our back ear and shoulder. All right, so that puts uh, or takes the power out of this hand so our wrists can hinge and re-hinge very fluidly instead of us trying to hit hard with our hands and arms. All right, so what I'm doing when I go to set up to the golf ball, and I'm not kidding, to this day, every shot I hit, I am absolutely conscious of perfect positioning in that bottom hand. So I'm getting ready. I put my top hand on. Then I'm thinking fingers. I wrap it on top. I'm very focused on it right now. Then I hit the shot. All right. So, you know, like I said, it's really kind of a warning tip today. I'm warning you that you will Move that bottom hand on into a position of strength. You will want to keep doing that because if I'm doing it still, after all these years, you will want to do that as well. So you have to continuously check your grip. I know it feels weak. It feels awful. It feels like you got no power, but that's what we want. Your hands are not hands. Your wrists are not wrists. This is a hinge. It hinges. It rehinges, it hinges, it rehinges. We want our wrists loose so we generate the club head speed. 
If you start to hold on in a position of strength, you now will tighten the hinge. You will try to hit. That could send you over the top. You know, you could do a whole bunch of things. You could hook it off the planet, you know, and do a chicken wing because you're all locked up. Okay, so as uncomfortable as it feels, I really, really need you to hold it in your fingers and then wrap that club on top. Now, if you want to check it, all you have to do, you do your grip like this, and then you just hinge your club up like that. See, when I hinge it up, I'm looking for that V right there. Okay, so I'll do it from the side right here. If you do this, all you have to do is hinge your wrists up like that. Just your wrists. Now you can see the V right there. All right, so get in the habit of checking that, you know, especially when you're at the range and practicing it. If you kind of make it a habit, then you'll be able to do that out when you play as well. I truly hope you've enjoyed this tip. You know, I've been teaching a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing now for over 25 years. If you'd like to learn this type of swing, then head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples. I'll send you some free samples of my book and video series that take you step by step by step through how to build a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing. So once again, head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples or click the link in or below this video and I'll send you the free samples right away.